Well, so many good things have been happening for me, and I've just been such a happy man. I wanted to write earlier, but couldn't come down to earth long enough. So I moved into this fine apartment and have been really applying myself to fixing it up nice. I bought an easy chair for $30, a side table for $15, and a nice dresser for $110. Got a really nice couch for free from a friend of Mary Ellen's. I've really had a lot of fun arranging it all. It makes me ill to think of all the beautiful furniture I left in Milwaukee that cost me six times now what I got it for then. All I really need now is a bed. I'm sleeping on a piece of foam on the floor and a few tables. I lay there in the dark, the street lights reflect it in the window and make beautiful patterns on the ceiling. It feels so good to spre spread myself out and my belongings and see how comfortable everything is. On the weekends, I buy a newspaper, make some coffee, and go up on the roof and lay on a blanket with only my undershorts on, sunning myself, all alone so no one can see me. I can sleep with the curtains open. No one can see me, I feel so free. With a place like this, I think it's worthwhile to stay home and clean house. Later Friday night, I go over to T's. A light is on in his room. I knock, but his roommate tells me through the door that T's not there. I was going to write a note for, to leave for him, but his roommate asked who he should say stop by. I answered Lou and left it at that. My last day of vacation. I sit on the roof of 17th Street, the sun going over the city, the cool air calm. Sometimes I dream of quitting my job and making a living off my writing. But it has only been since I've been with T that I've been hit with the reality that I'm not really a very good writer. There is so much I cannot express or find impossible to allow the reality into my life, such as T, our lives together. Once, when I read excerpts of my diaries to him, he commented that I left out a lot of the humor in our relationship. He's right, but I find it so hard to take us lightly when I reflect on how important he is to me. I've had a whole week to myself and haven't written shit. is forever about, were I to go off into another room to concentrate on better writing or diary updates, he'd be sniffing around in no time, reading over my shoulder or distracting me, trying to talk. I hope to slip off to the library this weekend to have some peace. Sometimes I think my life has changed so much that I no longer know what is, isn't good, bad, important, or unimportant. I just got high and went in the front of the mirror to really look at myself and really try to see myself as others do. I immediately saw the worry lines carved into my face, now aging and showing all the fighting. In my eyes, I see a deep sadness, a deep down panicking of always striving toward something I'll never have. I think I better start slackening up on myself and stop running, stop being afraid of every situation. I want so much to relax into being a man but I've just spent so much time running from being a woman that now I've got that hopelessness, that despair, and almost horror etched into my face. How will I look in 10 years? Like a frightened man? I need to relax all of my muscles.